Welcome back, Mayfield. It is January 11th, 2024. This is our first video for my pre-algebra students for this new year. Uh, welcome back. We've been working this week um, talking about proportional relationships, constant proportionality, and leading into slope. And your homework was really a review of some of the lessons from last week. Um, I did go to the shoebox. Can you do the salt mixture problem? I certainly can. This is a great question for us to look at together because you really have to think about the question as you're answering it. Uh, here are recipes for two different mixtures of salt and water. Here is salt mixture A. Um, the information starts in the front, finishes on the back, so I'm sorry for that. Um, for four teaspoons of salt, we have five cups of water, so I put that up here. For seven teaspoons of salt, we have eight and three-fourths cups of water, and for nine teaspoons of salt, we have 11 and one-fourth cups of water. Obviously, in this situation, too, if we have no salt, we're also not going to have any water, which means it's a proportional relationship. So our equation is just going to be our y divided by x. So we have 5 fourths x, which, since I noticed this is written as a decimal, so they're kind of speaking the same language, that means 1 and 25 hundredths x, which means for every 1 teaspoon of salt, we're going to use 1 and 25 hundredths cups of water. Salt mixture B is this equation, y equals 2 and a half x, where x again is your teaspoons of salt and y is your number of cups of water. So in mixture B, we're saying we're using 2 and a half cups of water for every 1 teaspoon of salt. If we use 10 cups of water, then which mixture would use more salt and how much more? All right, so I'm going to use my table here for this one. Uh, 10 cups of water, so I'm going to put a 10 right here because it's this nice proportional relationship. I can say 5 times 2 is 10, so 4 times 2 is 8. So for salt mixture A, we would need 8 teaspoons of salt. For B, I could make a table. I could also go ahead and put it in the equation. Both of them would be fine. Um, if I make a table here and I have one um, teaspoon of salt and two and a half cups of water, that means two teaspoons of salt will be five cups of water, which means 10 cups of water. I'm gonna need four teaspoons of salt. So which mixture uses more? A. How much more? They're going to need four teaspoons more, since eight minus four is four. So then which mixture tastes saltier? Okay, mixture A has one teaspoon of salt and one and a quarter cups of water. Mixture B has one teaspoon of salt and two and a half cups of water. So salt mixture A is definitely going to taste saltier because it uses less water for one teaspoon of salt. In mixture B, we're using double the amount of water for the teaspoon of salt, so it's going to be a more watered down version. All right, I hope that helps. Make sure you finish the rest of the homework, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody.